I got these eBay headers for $160. Let's find out if they're any good. Hey guys, thanks for watching Faster and Louder. So today we're going to be starting a small series about my eBay long tube headers. So I think the first question on everybody's mind at seeing this video is why would you take a chance on eBay headers? Everybody says they're crap, they're cheap, and they don't last, they break, whatever. Well, that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to take a hit on this potentially and see if these eBay headers are worth it. They're $160 and they're from um, they're actually from the same store. They have two different stores, I guess, but the same brand. I don't know how that works exactly. But one is called DNA Motoring, and the other one's called Speed Daddy Headers. <laughs> so I bought it from Speed Daddy on eBay, and it came in a DNA Motoring box. These headers are actually very affordable. I mean, they're only $160. And you can compare that to other brands, which these are, um, supposed to be modeled after a different brand possibly i'll talk about that in a second but um a lot of other brands that are similar cost up to twelve hundred dollars just for a pair of long tube headers along with the very low price of these headers there is a couple of reasons why i got these and first of all the first reason being um i actually did a lot of research on google and there was a forum uh, like a charger forum where people talked about these for like a hundred pages, just different people buying like eBay headers and having kind of varying results. But um, this specific brand, the DNA Motoring slash uh, Speed Daddy headers, they seem to be uh, like a pretty good brand. Uh, I mean, you know, there's other brands that are better, I'm sure, but for $160, they seem to be pretty okay. Really, at the end of the day, these headers they're long tube headers, so I mean, they're gonna be better than stock manifolds almost, no matter which way you look at it. And I'm assuming they're gonna be better than shorty headers like I have on there right now. I mean, I have the JBA shorty headers on it. These have um, kind of like bigger diameter tubes coming from the ports, so they will allow for more airflow also. But uh, I just really wanna find out if it's worth it, and hopefully I can help you find out if it's worth it also. These headers are made in China, presumably, um, and they are what they seem to be a knockoff of Cook's headers, which are one of those brands that costs a ton of money, but they have a very similar design. They have the ball socket end at the bottom where the flange is, and uh, they do have the same one, one, in, one and seven eighths inch uh, primary size. The tubes come in like right out of the exhaust port. So those are a little bit bigger than what you typically would have in a 5.7. These are more sized for like a 6.1 or 6.4 Hemi, but these will work, especially with some of the mods that I'm gonna end up doing. Um, the other thing that makes these similar to the Cooks design is the mid pipes from Cooks actually bolt right up to these. So if you do wanna have like a higher uh, quality mid pipe you can still get that with cooks if you want to they actually provide the parts numbers in the ebay listing they don't say that it's cooks but they do provide the part number <laughs> my plan with these headers is just slap them on the car when we do the cam swap um, i've mentioned before in some other videos that i'm doing a texas speed cam swap it's a stage three cam so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put these headers on there i think i'm gonna go catless so I'm gonna have to get it tuned so I can actually pass the missions and all that. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's a race car. I'm thinking that I can probably get some pretty good power gains with this. Uh, I never actually did get the shorty headers tuned, like custom tuned on a dyno or anything, so I don't really know how much power they gave me, if anything. It, there's no denying that it had to help to some degree. If you look at some of the older videos, you can actually show like, the port uh, shrouding basically where it would just come straight out of the port and just hit like solid metal in the, uh, the stock manifolds and the shorty headers they don't do that 
but these will be a step up from that, so it's got to give me some kind of power, right? <laughs> well, hopefully we'll find out in the next few weeks. This is part one of the series, just kind of my experience with these eBay headers. I want to try to put it to rest. Uh, I mean, if they are good, then hopefully that kind of seals the deal for a lot of people, you know? Maybe more people will just start buying these cheaper headers because they're worth it, you know? And maybe that'll actually drive down the price for uh, the other brands because everything for Hemis is insanely expensive. Don't know why, but it is. Stay tuned for part two, which will be the install. I'm gonna try to do as much video footage of that as I can. Uh, we can, I'm, we're gonna like be taking the actual heads off anyways for the cam, so we're gonna be installing it onto the heads and then putting the heads like back onto the engine. So it's gonna be a different install compared to what we did with the shorty headers. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing. Like, comment, uh, talk about my annoying birds in the background. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.